Finca Santa Marta, and we're excited to have with me Nick and Bill, who have been helping with building the greenhouses. Nick, it's good to have you here, man. It's good to be back. It's been two years, and hopefully we can do something soon again. Yeah, I hope it's a lot sooner than two years. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, the pandemic hit last week, yeah. uh, last year, so. Yeah, well, it hit it us hard. <laughs> Uh, Nick is awesome. Uh, we, we called the last story in the nick of time. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, but it, you were helping put roofs on in, uh, in Uganda right. and a building blew down. <laughs> oh man, yeah. So yeah, that was that was that was unfortunate. Not we the gonna, one we did. Yeah, not yeah, the one no, we did. No, 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 no. The one we bought all the trusts, all the wood for. Uh, and, and and we'll what happened is we wound up tearing out that building and tearing out the cement on oh, the wow. ground. And we made that a garden. Now, if wow. we can make that a garden, just think what we can do here. That's incredible. Hey, yeah. give me your first impressions of the farm. All of the vegetation in the hills, the, the river, it was, it was just incredible. Yeah. You the vegetation here, the greenhouses, that was producing just just about every fruit, vegetable, scent, anything. The mint down there, uh, Richard showed the, the mint, the, um, what do you call it, the basil, all that. It's just, just incredible. It really is a magical place. There's yeah. Chickens. Yeah. Chickens, ducks, cows, oh, ducks, yeah. horses, yeah. dogs. Yeah. <laughs> More dogs than we know what to do with. Yeah, a lot of dogs. <laughs> we got to get the right kind of dogs on here. Yep. We're, uh, we're actually looking at a very specific breed of dog that is nocturnal, that stays up and, oh, wow. and uh, guards the farm and guards because we have predator cats on the on the campus. That's what they were saying. They said they got a chicken the other day. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So we, we need to, we got some laser lights and some things that need to be installed. That's one of the reasons that we're having volunteer days is that there's a lot of work to be done on the farm that is just hard to do when you're actually farming. Yeah. And so we've got these laser lights to put up and, and uh, other things to prevent the predators. But the dog we're looking at, Randy, is? The Great Pyrenees. The Great Pyrenees. Oh, wow. And these are big white dogs. Uh, they're from France, and they were developed to protect farms and ranches. And these dogs are really cool because you uh, you raise them from a puppy with the livestock, and eventually they're going to kill one just playing with it because they're gro overgrown puppies. Yeah. Uh, and they don't know any better. And when they do, what you do is you take a can full of pennies, and you shake it at them, and you yell at them, and you, you call them a crazy dog, you don't use their name, and you do this, you overdo it for about 20 minutes. I mean, you just berate the dog for about 20 minutes, and then it's done.